Okay, it's time for a new pickups video. And as you can see, it's of a pair of some men's slippers. Now, first of all, I do want to apologize if my voice sounds a bit gruff and husky and there's any dry coughing. Um, I'm just recovering from the flu or the cold or whatever it is that you want to call it. I'm pretty much over the worst of it now. Um, but um, depending on when it's uploaded, I should have my voice completely back. But for this video um, purpose, I wanted to um, basically apologize beforehand. <clears throat> and, oh, there we go again with the dry coughing. So I do apologize. Um, now, um, these particular slippers um, I bought from a UK chain called Sh um, called Shoes On. Most towns in London and in the UK do have a Shoes On. Of all, where I live, um, we had one and then they closed it down and then they, a few months later, they opened, reopened it back up. And for those of you um, who are, um, have been subscribers of mine for months or even years or even, or even if you're new, um, you would have seen I did do a um a video uh, a video on a pair of slippers that i got from shoes on um try, can't remember the price i paid i paid for it but you, if you look it up on my channel you'll uh, you'll be able to find it <coughs> and um those slippers are basically lasting for quite a while good um, they were soft and um comfortable but unfortunately um both um the left and right slippers have developed um, a hole um, underneath, um, underneath the actual um, shoe itself. So, unfortunately, um, obviously, um, these the slippers, the slippers I'm currently wearing, which you'll see in, in the video if you check it on my channel, um, they're basically on their last legs uh, or feet, should I say? So, luckily, um, I was in my uh, my local shopping mall, and um, I went. I was looking around the different um, shops to see um, if they sold um any um decent um slippers that i could wear to replace the, the ones i've got now <clears throat> and um decided to go into shoe zone again and they were doing a deal um where it was um 6.99 for the slippers but um you could get two for 10 pounds so for an extra um f i think for an extra three quid you get a second pair so <clears throat> Um, I picked up two, so they're identical. Maybe a little bit of them fluff in it, because obviously black attracts a lot of fluff, so they're identical to the ones that you can see there. So I thought <coughs> I might as well pay um, the £10, which is an extra three quid, <coughs> and then I can wear these, and then if these end up developing holes or tears or whatnot, <coughs> I then don't have to go and buy another pair. I've already got a spare pair, so... Um, definitely, um, if you're looking for a pair of slippers and you've got a local shoe zone and they do happen to have the two for £10 promotion, I definitely would recommend picking it up because ordinarily it's 6 And so just shy of um, a, a penny from £7 for an extra three quid, you get a second pair so you can put those down and have a, um, a second spare pair. Or, or if you have... Um, somebody else in the in the family, um, you can give them you can give away the second pair of sli um, of slippers. You don't just have to buy them even the same size. You could you could buy one. Um, <clears throat> say if you're gonna buy it for someone else and they can have a second pair, and you're say like a size eight and they're a size ten. You can buy two different sizes. It doesn't matter. It's still part of the two for ten. Um, the ones I bought were a size nine. The slippers that um that you would have seen in the previous video from a few months ago were a size ten. And I normally go for a slightly bigger pair, um, so, so, you know, just a little bit more wiggle room, especially on the heel and around the toes. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have um, a size 10, um, but the size 9 still fit me um, just enough. So, um, it did fit, so it did fit. If there was a 9.5, which is what I normally wear when it comes to trainers, depending on, on obviously the, on the fitting of the trainer, then I usually go for like a nine and a half or a half, or if not, I have to go for a 10. But it depends on the, the cut of the actual shoe, whether it's narrow or wide. I can completely wear a nine or nine and a half or a 10. As I said, well, I tried that. I did try it the size nines and they fit perfectly. So, you know, um, I'm still glad um, I, that they had um, the size nines left because these are the only two size nines that I saw <clears throat> in getting the second pair. So they, all I saw was eight, size 11, which would have been way too big. 
and, and some and, and some shoes are even bigger than that. So I'm lucky that I was at least man managed to get um, um, two pairs of the size nines. Um, as you can see, they're black, obviously. Um, I tend to go for black because I don't like wearing light coloured um, slippers because obviously <clears throat> if they're like, I don't mind a grey, for example, or a, um, like a red or a blue. But anything like like, a, like like it's white or it's very light, I don't like that because they tend to get dirty very quickly. Of all, the only thing about black is it tends to attract a lot of um, fluff, which can be rather annoying. Um, looking at my slippers I'm currently wearing now. Um, they're very look. These are a little. These are, are a little bit different. Um, this does feel like cotton. You can see it's quite padded there, and um, you can see the inside. So it's going to keep your feet nice and warm. Um, the sole is quite well padded, and again, the same material. As you can see, it's, like, it's a greyish material, and that's really soft too. Now, bear in mind that when you're walking around in slippers. It doesn't matter how comfortable and how thick they make um, the slippers. What tends to happen is obviously that when you take into account your body weight and walking around in them, um, bear in mind that all that the weight that's going to push this down like so. So this will be a lot, it will lose its springiness. So kind of bear that in mind that that's going to happen. Of all, you can get um, um, those comfortable um, foam um some foot soles that you can get. I've seen them in like um, Super Dragon boots and other beauty places that you can get them. And you also you can put it in. You can you you could put it in there. Those thick foam and um, inlays and then put them in there, and then that will give you a, a, a lot more comfort and a lot more spring in your step. As I said before, um, it's not bad. Um, I don't like spend. I know that you can get Ralph Lauren slippers and. You can, you can get slippers for like 20, 30 pound. Even, even 35, even really expensive, similar to what you get to like with trainers. But the reason why I don't like <clears throat> spending a lot of money on say like slippers is because I know that they're not going to last very long. So I don't, I don't see the point in me spending like 20 pound, 30, 40 pound on a pair of slippers. And within six or eight months, they're already falling apart already. Um, I'd rather just sit there and get, um, you know, like a decent pair that's going to last for a while. I mean, I just buy another one. And as I said, because of them, I've got two for ten, um, two for ten pounds, two for ten pounds of it. Um, um, now, if these ones go bad, I've I've got exactly I've got identical pair of spare um, slippers that I can have, so that's kind of great. Um, again, even with even um, the thing, the difference between these slippers. And the, and the current ones I'm wearing now, which I'm not going to show because they look disgusting now. Is that, and again, you'll see what they look like brand new in my previous slipper um, video. Is that they obviously those were black, but it had more of a kind of a suede kind of kind of a material. And I did not, and I've, over the time, it did get dirty very quickly, and it's having to like wash them out because obviously with suede, it kind of um, soaks in like um, like moisture and dirt and all that kind of grim grime so you kind of have to wash it and anybody that's um, you know that, that wears has worn um suede material type shoes or even jackets or even other um um products um they can get dirty and get them um, could again get full up full of gunk so that's kind of highly annoying but with these they're not kind of that's not because this is pure cotton you're kind of not going to get that um the soles look decent. They look there are they, you can see here they're not, not too bad in terms of thickness. Um the ones I had were a little bit thicker, but the actual um grooves that are on these they're very similar to the slipper to my um slippers that I'm wearing now, the ones that have fallen apart. Um so that's very um similar. Um but it seems to be on these pair, it seems to be a little bit thinner. And this is where I've developed the hole on my on both sets of, um, and the left and right slippers. It's right here, so it's a massive hole right here. So that's why I thought, so if you know what, I need to replace these. So yeah, I've got these. I said before, if you do decide just to get them on their own, um, the, um, they're six nine to nine. But um, if you've got um, a shoes on and they're still running the the, the two for for ten pounds promotion, um, definitely go for the um. To, right for two for ten pound again as i said 
whether or not you, um, you're going to keep the second pair for yourself or you're going to use it as a spare. So as I said before, these are identical. I don't know if you, um, because these are the only ones that I saw the, um, the, the designs. So I don't know if you can mix and match. But as I said before, these are, um, these pair, I'm um, sh quickly showing the screen, they're identical to the shoes there. Sorry, to the slippers there. They're totally identical. So it doesn't bother me. I'm not really kind of bothered just as long as it does the job rather you know like walking around and you know bare, bare, barefoot or in trainers and you don't know what dirt you're kind of bringing in by wearing your trainers you just want something comfortable um to wear while you're in, while you're walking around your house it's similar you know for me like when i wear, wear pajamas i wear those um like those, those jogging um pajamas i think i did a video on them i think i may have done if not i'll, I'll do a video because i've got a spare one that i bought um from a place called choice so i don't know if i've done it if i have um you, you can check it out in the video if not um i'll just do it because the one the second pair i've got i've not worn them yet so i can show you man and i can show you those because which i did get in a cell um in the january so so i don't care and for me they are they're identical i mean they slippers to me are not a fashion statement just something <clears throat> that i'm gonna be comfortable and what i want especially because <clears throat> um i'm diabetic and it's about keeping your feet comfortable keeping them warm um so you want something that's going to protect um you know your feet as well with, especially with me being a type 2 diabetic i want to keep my feet dry and nice and protected plus um I, I have problems with my feet so i've got problems with my ankles just something to do with genetic i was born with and i've got flat feet as well so i just want something that i can walk around where um, if I'm walking casually around my house or, you know, having a bath, you put something on and you just walk around, you're not going anywhere, obviously. You you want something comfortable on your feet rather than just wearing the trainers that you're shoes that you're walking around with when you're going out. So, yeah, I'm really glad I took a, um, a butcher's um, at my local shoe zone and got the two for £10 and, you know, just paying extra three quid from the 6 99 So, yeah, these um, are the size 9 slippers from shoe zone so again if you're somebody's looking for um a new pair of slippers go for the two um, the two for ten deal i think that's a deal and then you can keep it for yourself or give it to a loved one anyway i hope you found this video informative please feel to, to share with your friends and family also you can give this video a thumbs up i would highly appreciate that that will allow people to find my youtube channel on content on a youtube recommendation page this is because the youtube algorithms favor the bigger youtubers so um that allow me to find new um subscribers and new viewership and speaking of subscribers if you or um already haven't consider subscribing to my youtube channel you want to see stuff like this movie reviews unboxings where it's statues um <coughs> gadgets um movies video games um tv and movie reviews um video gameplay um i need to do a lot more of that um and comic book related stuff then subscribe to my and then and all and also food and drink reviews then subscribe to my youtube channel um we just hit um 500 subs before christmas on our christmas was several months ago but i still want to thank everybody for who subscribed um because i didn't think i would get it before christmas so that was the perfect christmas present so a big thank you to the subs old and new to get me to the 500 sub mark before christmas so that was perfect um a few weeks ago we hit 600 subs again thank you to the subs on the new old and new because without you guys i wouldn't be where i am um so thank you to all of you one and all um again i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because without you um i wouldn't be where i am and um to me um you guys um are just as much as part of the channel as i am who who creates stuff on it so thank you to all of you we're already halfway to 700 subs already. So, again, I didn't think I'll get there so quickly. But, again, hopefully we'll get to 700 subs soon. And the next major, major milestone will be 1,000 subs. Again, that's gonna be that's quite some way off before we get there. But hopefully we'll get there sooner rather than later. And if, you want to do, if you want to see some live streaming, sometimes I do live streams on YouTube. It's very rare that I do, but sometimes I do so it's, it's on this channel so if you subscribe to my channel you can get the notifications you know of when i do do a live stream because it's quite random because of my health conditions and other stuff happening in real life so and, and if you 
put the notification on, you'll know when I'm live. Similar thing with, I, I do I, most of my streaming on Twitch. Um, I'm on 40 followers. I need to, I want to get to 50. So that's an extra 10. So I'll put the link in there. So even if you don't, even if you just follow, even if you just follow it and don't necessarily um, watch me do live streams, you can watch it on my streams because they're archived for a few weeks. So you can watch it at your own leisure. So you don't have to be live right then and there, sit and sit. So yeah, we're just 10 away from 50 subs, 50 followers, sorry. So um, give my Twitch channel um, a follow. So I do some multi export stuff in there because I can't stream it directly to YouTube. Um, um, one day I hope to get a computer and an Elgato card so I can do it directly. And then we can even do some Nintendo stuff, which is what I want to do because Nintendo stuff I kind of love. Again, when I stream on Twitch, um, depending on where you are in the world, it's quite random because, again, it depends on how my health is holding up. So, again, with same thing with Twitch, um, if you follow it and you put a notification on, as soon as I go live on Twitch as well, you'll get a notification wherever you are telling you that I'm live on Twitch. And then even if um, you get the notification to say I'm live and you're not, you can't, you'll, you'll, you'll need to stay on for a few minutes, that's great as well. And then, I guess before, um, the video game plays archived. Most stuff is Xbox because uh, most when I stream from the PS5 and PS4, they allow you to stream to Twitch and to um, YouTube because I don't have the equipment, as I said. And Xbox only allows you to stream to Twitch. So, and then plus, on top of that, there's some Xbox games sell, um, that I've got a lot of copyright clicks, um, stuff in it. So, things like um, Metal Gear, or Solid 5, the Phantom Pain, which I'm playing at the moment, but halfway through the game, um, that's got a lot of copyright um, music in it. So, I prefer, of all, obviously, I can't stream to YouTube. Um, it's a lot easier doing it on Twitch because even if you sit there and you watch back the video, I'm archived. All they do is that they just mute it where they, um, where music is being played. Whereas Twitch, you, whereas YouTube, you get um, um, you get a copyright claim, which I don't really like, and I don't think nobody does. So, bear in mind, I'll put it in the description box when I upload this video. So anyway, it just leads me to say, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe. Um, enjoying the summer. I'm enjoying the hot weather here in the UK at the moment, as of the twenty third of May. We've had um. The last few days pouring in heavy rain, so it makes a heavy, um, a great change in having nice, sunny, hot weather. So, wherever you're in the world, I hope you're keeping, um, you know, keeping, keeping dry and having good weather. And just leave it to say, keep safe, and I'll speak to you again on, on my next video. Bye for now.